What's going on, everyone? We are back playing Stargate Pegasus Chronicles, the new open beta that was just released. If you want to play this yourself, there will be a link in the description. Make sure what you're playing, though, that you keep a list of anything that you find, any bugs, uh, and report it to the mod creators. That is what the open beta is here for. Uh, so we'll just jump back into it. I did start from the menu because I was having some issues with encoding earlier. Uh, so I wanted to make sure it was all resolved, and it seems to be. So we should be safe to do this, hopefully. Please. Yeah? No. Um, so last episode, we started doing some of the story missions. Uh, we're currently defending Tyrannus in order to uh, get a new... I think it's the destroyer design that we're waiting for. Uh, we have been attacked by some pretty big wraith fleets, so we're going to have to try to figure out what we're going to do for our defense here. Uh, we are fairly spread out compared to them. We have fewer ships, but our ships do seem to be significantly better. Uh, that is possibly a model issue there. It might be because it loaded in. Okay, yeah, it's just because it, that was where the save file was, or where the save was. But it looks like the encoding issues from before have been fixed, please, yes. So we'll just keep going. I kind of want to use this fleet to go and take some of this area, but that might not be the best idea. So we'll keep, uh, I want to keep investing in Duranta. <coughs> Sorry. I want to keep investing in Duranda so we have a decent uh, shipbuilding area. Uh, I do want to do these research options at some point as well, but... Oh, good thing I moved that fleet there. <coughs> but we are a fairly strapped for credits, and I can't seem to find anything to increase that at the moment, so we'll just try to make do with what we have uh, for now. Uh, I did get in contact with the team that created uh, Pegasus Chronicles here, and after this first playthrough as the Ancients, I think we're going to try to organize uh, whether I have them on in the first bit of the uh, of the Wraith campaign, or if we do it as like a separate thing. I do hope to have uh, at least one or two of them on to discuss some of the changes that I'm making. Uh, I don't want to step on the toes of anything that uh, Gull and Bane already did with them, so I'm going to put a link to uh, their interviews again with uh, the Pegasus Chronicles team, but probably come at it from a bit more of a perspective of the actual process of modding Empire War, uh, since that's something they didn't go into quite as much as, uh, I guess, the lore and uh, some of the things we're trying to do there. Uh, and I think that could be uh, an interesting thing for us to talk about. So we'll try to defend against this fleet. I'm going to try to stick around the, the space station here, just in case they send stuff in one at a time. And... Uh, we should be able to deal with at least some of it a bit better that way. Because those bigger ships will take a bit longer to get here. Uh, what do we want to do here? I don't I don't know if that's going to be useful for anything right now. I don't know what it means to dock the ships is the problem. Oh, we're getting artillery barraged. That's not good. So we'll have to start attacking now because they are going to be able to do some serious damage with those artillery. You seem There's a plasma battery. Sir. Heavy plasma battery. Let's see if we can take the ship out you seem fast sincere. enough here. Are you all right, sir? Yes, sir. Time, sir? As long as we focus fire a bit more, we might be okay. There's that one down. Once they're past the point where the uh, where the station can actually attack them, we'll leave the station to do it, and we'll just focus on taking out the bigger guy over here. Uh, I'm going to mention this on a few videos, but I am going to be out of town for most of next week for my sister's wedding, so there's a few videos that I'm sort of pre-recording, uh, and then they'll all go just so, to make sure that this stuff keeps coming out. Uh, on the scheduled days to make sure you guys have uh, the content you'd expect on the correct days. So if I'm a bit behind on responding to comments or if you say anything in the comments that uh, I, it seems like I'm ignoring, I do read all the comments. I am not ignoring it. It's just uh, I probably recorded it before being able to see what you guys have been saying. Uh, this episode I'm recording like the day before it goes out like I normally would. But uh, that'll be something that I start doing over the weekend, just for next week, uh, just because I'm going to be out of town for my sister's wedding, 
I'm going back to my hometown. I'm going to be staying uh, at my parents' house for the week. And I'm going to be too busy while I'm down there. I'm not going to have access to my computer. So that's what we're going to be doing there. Uh, it looks like we're, we're going to be okay here, actually. And next, these artillery... The Manta artillery shouldn't be too hard to take on once we have these down. I'm not sure if I should have gone out and tried to take them out first, but we would have been directly in the line of fire for pretty much everything they had if we did that. We are taking out a significant portion of their fleet, I think. Based on the movement I've seen uh, on the galactic map, this is probably maybe a fifth of their fleet? That might be a bit too generous. We've taken out the two main capital ships at least, so that's good. Uh, I kind of want to leave back this ancient corvette, but we will see. No, they're, they'd be able to attack it anyways. To attack it anyways, if they'd wanted to. So it doesn't really matter where I left it. It's just the artillery. Is there still other stuff? Probably could have saved the other frigate if we'd gotten some of the upgrades. Alright. They lost the destroyer, a cruiser, a hive ship, battle cruiser. And we just lost the one frigate and the puddle jumpers. So that's pretty good. I kind of want to go grab those puddle jumpers back with the fleet here. So I'll have to send back something with a hyperspace thing. Alright. We did it. The new ship class is online. Once we have funded the research on Lantia, we can build destroyers. Okay. Oh god. Can we get here faster? 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 Yes? Okay. We can we can win this one too. It's less than we had last time, so. But the more the merrier. Construction of ground buildings is twenty percent cheaper. That's uh that's that's too bad. Alright. Is it just the hive ship? Oh, there's three... I think those are hive ships. Are they hive ships? We're gonna pretend they're hive ships. Are you all right, sir? We're wasting time, sir. Are you all right, sir? We're wasting time, sir. Um... Are you docked? We've located the enemy! Or is that a gun? I guess that's a docked... Corvette? I don't know what that does. Stationed a small transport, which undocks shortly before destroying the station. If he can escape before he was destroyed, he will receive a reward of 5,000 to 10,000 resources. Okay, that's... something. I guess the Corvette here maybe can fi- I don't know. I don't know what that's doing. I have... no idea. All right. Which one are these? Yeah, they are hive ships. Okay. You seem sincere. I don't like how many hive ships they have. Sir. I was very. I don't want you to rotate constantly. Stop rotating. Deploy those. Launch. Okay, that thing's off. That would have been good to have earlier. I'm not sure what just happened. Okay, there's the heavy plasma cannons. The Starbase can actually take care of most of this. When I th when I said that we were in better shape than last time, I was apparently lying. Uh, this is terrible, and we're going to die. Maybe. Are you all right, sir? I'm gonna try to get back here, I guess. Are you all right, sir? Uh, can we get? No, I don't care about that. Can we get more of these going on here?
I I'm still not sure what what these do. Modifications are commencing, sir. You seem sincere. Are you all right, sir? Auxiliary power is now online. Okay, hopefully the station can do a bit more. Can I have Okay, so you can dock and undock stuff. I'm not sure how that like what the what the effect of that is, and I guess it'll dock or undock based on what's actually there, but Are you all right, sir? I'm still not entirely sure what that entails. Can our puddle jumpers go and kill stuff? You seem sincere. We might have to try for the uh for the evacuation thing. Are you all right, sir? Sir. You're wasting time. You seem sir. sincere. Um Are you all right, sir? You're wasting time, sir. Did it die? Is it gone? Do I have to undock it? I don't know. Oh well. Are you all right, sir? We've lost this. They're falling back. I couldn't see if that uh, undocked reward ship went in. Did we? We won. Okay. Thank you, Water Resolve. We lost the station, but we won the won the fight. There's no way we can actually defend this, though. That's unfortunate. But am I just right off this entire area? I wanted to keep Duranda as a production place, but apparently we can't, so... Is there is there anywhere that'll give us any more sort of credits or anything? Nothing we can build there. Nothing here, nothing here. Alright, so until we have higher space station levels, we're not going to be in the best shape. Um, we're not going to make very much money either. I'm, I don't think it's worth, I don't know, is it worth it to do this right now? That's going to be all of our money. May as well, and we'll try to... I think I'm going to try to take over one of their higher value planets and try to just get the, uh, the money you get for capturing the planet, and that'll hopefully help us a little bit. So we'll just go in and do that. Gunta is a forest world with a wide range of flora and fauna and many resources. It has three big continents which are surrounded by a huge ocean. The ancients built one of their m many colonies here. It is not big or fabulous, but one of their most important planets because the planet has rare ores and minerals. Because this colony has only been established shortly before the beginning of the Wraith War, it has only limited defense systems which can make it vulnerable in the case of an attack. Alright, considering it wasn't ours, it was very vulnerable. Hyperdrive construct modifications are commencing, sir. Are they going to send anything out after us? Power is now online. I do not know. I don't know, Mr. Potter. Okay, they're starting to shoot. So... Laggy. How high poly is this model? And we do have the ancient frigates. And an ancient warship. Are you alright, sir? You seem sincere. You're wasting time. I'm very sincere. Don't question my sincerity. Or imply that it could even be remotely 
insincere. You seem sincere. Right, this guy's done. Thank you for playing. You are dead. You're not dead. You're dead, please. Are you all right, sir? What damaged you? Um, it scares me how damaged Delphi is. Delphi. You seem sincere. This guy's done. Sir. This guy's you gonna be done. Sincere. Okay, can you puddle jumpers start doing that stuff? Are you all right, sir? You're wasting time, sir. If the ancient warship would actually face a more useful way, that would be helpful. Are you all right, sir? These fighters are all coming down. Alright. Killed that. I want right, sir? the ancient warship to actually go over there. Uh, take this thing. And there's still more fighters coming in. I don't want this to self-destruct. That would be a waste of one of our best ships. Assuming it survives this. Alright, it is probably not a good idea to send that off on its own. Ugh, bombers. Kill them. We are at least going to be able to take out this if the projectiles don't go through it. There's so many bombers. Are you all right, sir? Sir. Time, sir? You seem sincere. Are you all right, sir? Wow. Can I get that out of there? Will it be fast enough? We'll be able to get far enough. Mm, nope. That sucks. I played that terribly. Alright, so we're gonna have to take that out. We do have more frigates though, so... Construct modifications are commencing, sir. Probably should just use the fighters to do that from the first place. The fighters seem to do a fair bit of damage. I guess those are bombs? These must be bombers. Are you all right, sir? I have no I have no idea. I should read this. As a bomber, okay, yeah, I should have read that beforehand. That would have been more intelligent than just flying at stuff. Oh well. You seem sincere. My bad. We're wasting time, sir. All right, I'm gonna send the puddle jumpers over to kill that thing now. Kill them. All right. We are. Are you all right, sir? Almost done here. How much is the? Okay, I don't know if this is actually going to give us any money for winning. It is not saying at the bottom there. But we have that, and then it's just a piece of artillery at the back. Are you all right, sir? It has taken serious damage. Thank you for letting me know. Is it just this? Yeah, back. okay. The sensors of our ships have located Lantean life signs on Gonta. There must be survivors of the last attack. We should quickly send the city ship Delphi there to rescue the remaining colonists. The evacuation is running, but will take some time until it is completed. Uh, so now we have lost. That's not good. 
Okay, that's almost done. Ancient Destroyer is 3,500. We need some ships. This is not a lot of ships. I was hoping to get, like, some money for that. A huge Wraith fleet that is falling out of hyperspace is above Ganta. We should not wait any longer until the reactors are complete and disappear immediately before Ray surprises and destroy us all. Uh, okay. That's... so we just lost Delphi for that. What a complete waste. Auxiliary power is now online. That's... that's questionable. Evacuation of Gonta... oh. Was successful despite some losses. The city ship, which had covered the retreat, unfortunately could... ...cannot escape in time. Are you serious? The Wraith were able to damage it so hard that it crashed on the planet. The crew managed to leave. Right, we have that... Tower, ...that fleet. So, yay. Can we take Belkin back? I'm gonna try to expand whatever we can. To engage drive. Right, I don't know who this dude is, but... He is Wallace, the ancient commander. He arrived on, on Atlantis and will help us coordinate our efforts. Okay. I like... like that. Is she... a uh, combat bonus hero? We'll bring her with us, and we'll try to take Belkin back. Atlantia will keep building some ancient frigates. But hopefully this these two new heroes will be a little bit better for us, and I will not make the same mistakes with them as I did with the ancient warship. I would have liked to keep the city ship, though. That would have been very helpful. You have an ancient cruiser, ancient destroyer, and this dude in that thing. Okay, she is... okay, she would have to come in earlier. That's something I feel like Empire at War really didn't think about, or Petroglyph didn't really think about when they put in the Pathfinder units for Force of Corruption. Uh... That the if the if you have heroes like that who don't have their own ship and you try to bring them in in a fleet with a Pathfinder unit, then you are essentially just uh, you're not really able to do it because they're going to come in in their shuttle. You have no way to attach them to a ship directly that I've ever seen, so that's not ideal. Can I? Like, will that work? It worked. It didn't work. Now she's going to die, and it's going to be my fault. Uh, camouflage. Is she in a puddle jumper? I'm not sure. I don't think they'll respawn. This doesn't seem like uh, they would have done it in a way that everything respawns. But we'll see. Because I'm probably going to end up losing her accidentally. I was thinking she'd be uh, a commander, like a, a tactical hero. So ignore everything that I've said before. I still don't know why Petroglyph did it that way, but that is no longer relevant to what I was saying about her. So can you shoot this dude? Can you shoot this dude? Are you all right, sir? You seem sincere. That's not. Right, once this is done, just focus on the parts of the space station that can actually shoot us. Are you all right, sir? I'm not going to do the same stupid stuff that I did last time. You seem sincere. If it can't shoot us, don't shoot it. Are these our fighters? 
Autonomously acting AI controlled units. They are armed with a light triple laser gun to hunt down enemies. Are you all right, sir? Are we gonna lose this cruiser? I don't want to lose this cruiser. We're gonna lose that cruiser. Okay, once that hangar is done, destroy this hangar. And now, destroy the stuff that's actually going to be able to shoot us. I think the heavy plasma batteries are the biggest threats right now. There's no point destroying this side of the station, because it's not really going to be able to shoot at us for a while. Or ever. You can take out the hive ship. Is this the last? Yeah, that's the last hard point for that. And then we'll focus on uh, that medium plasma battery. And this medium plasma battery. And this. The leftover shot should take that out even if we retarget right now. So this is one more planet for us. I'm not sure if this one will give us any credits or resources right away, but maybe. Now we can kill them. I want you to camouflage and go over there. There's no reason to risk you against these last few hard points. Deploy satellites. Okay, so that's that's like basically stationary ships. That's cool. One of our convoys loaded with much needed supplies was attacked on his way to Lantia. We have to protect it by all means. Where is it? Oh, we lost that thing. Where's the thing we lost? A scientific team has succeeded in perfecting the nanites technology in order to advance the project and be able to produce the first test subjects. We still need more resources. Funding is possible and at any time on Lantia. Be warned. The risks of the project cannot be estimated. It could also end in failure. Unfortunately, we couldn't prevent the Wraith from conquering more worlds. Our retreat strategy has failed, making it impossible to invest more time and resources in the development of the cruiser class. That sucks. I'm not sure what we lost other than uh, this place, which we would have had to station a fleet at. So I don't know... Enemy fleet incoming at Geneve. The council's decisions. See if we can get there first. We can't. Uh, auto resolves really. We'll try to take them out before they get a station established. Hmm, this is going poorly. This is going poorly. I think after this battle, we'll call it for the episode. That is a lot of ships there, but they're going to come straight at us. So we'll try to take it easy here. And hopefully, they'll fly stupidly into us. Right, there's their corvette. Are you all right, sir? You seem Kill the corvette, please. Please, 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 please. Sir, you seem sincere. And we'll send our puddle jumpers up to try to take out the artillery. Yes. Are you all right, sir? It's actually coming pretty close for artillery. So we can destroy it pretty quickly. Some more bombs there, I think. Almost. Now go for that. That's all done. Not yet. Very good. Uh, go for... Go for the hangar bombers. And you guys all focus on the heavy plasma batteries, which you seem to be doing anyways. You're wasting time, sir. Yes. I'll make certain equations I'll just make sure. There's that one. This one. You, right, you focus on this one. You focus yes, on... Very good. 
engines. You focus on that one. It's in this puddle jumper. If you can all take out the hangars here so they can't keep spawning in more squadrons on us, that'll be helpful. Uh, Wallace, can you try to distract this dude? See if you can do anything about that and then just opportunity fire at the other stuff over here. They seem like they'll have more reinforcements, so I'm going to try to just take out as much of their damage capabilities on their current ships, and then we'll just try to wipe them out as they come in. And sort of let opportunity firing take care of the rest, so that we're not dealing with another full-strength fleet at the same time. I'm going to see if we can deploy one of these satellites. I don't think... Okay, there we go. They do have a decent range, actually. Alright. Focus on this one now. Can this one shoot this? Can you reach that? Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, all right, we can. Yeah, we can just start taking out the ships, anyways. I think we're okay. Nope, they jumped more in. My first thought was the right one. And we're getting overrun by fighters now. You take that one. Okay, puddle jumpers, we need. Try to take out the artillery cannons on the farther back stuff. Take out this one as well. Okay, she can make stuff temporarily invulnerable. That's pretty good. You can plop in another one of them satellites. Keep attacking the healthier ones. I think we lost one of our better ships. Nope, we still got the, the stuff. This is what I wanted to avoid. If we can just get the this side taken care of a bit faster. That Corvette's in trouble. Are you, all right, sir? you guys try to take out this thing, I guess. Including you, if you can shoot the hangar. Eh, I don't know. Yes, I'm fine. Just so many fighters. Time, sir. Not yet. Um... Are you all right, sir? More artillery plasma cannons. This guy, you can take that out. It's all these fighters that I'm worried about. They got so many because I killed so many of their ships and they just keep spawning them in. We don't have any Corvettes left because they are all dead. Okay, that's dead too. Almost. Come on. There we go. 40%. I don't want to lose this cruiser. Are you all right, I, don't, I can't afford to lose anything, You're really. So Hopefully the fighters are not victory relevant. And we just have to destroy the uh, the actual ships. Yes. Otherwise we might be in trouble. There are too many enemy ships. That's why we gotta kill them all. Right. It's just the bombers in this thing, so... Eh, will we have to kill the other ships? The fighters? Yes? Yes. That sucks. I don't think... I don't know what the accuracy against the fighters and bombers is going to be from these other ships, but... Okay, they're leaving. I think we lost... Nope, we lost just the Corvettes. That's good. Alright, so before we get attacked again, uh, we just penetrated and pondered about <laughs> the possibility of a new form of energy which should be more efficient and larger than our ZBMs would ever be. Start the research however the project still requires the approval and financing of the High Council of Atlantis. Alright, so we're going to get into that next episode. Uh, we'll try to maybe make a push somewhere, try to build up our fleet a little bit more, and hopefully find out a way to get a bit more in the resource area. 
But uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, remember to like and subscribe. And, uh, and again, if you want to play the mod, make sure you go and give the developers your feedback as well. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.